Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my ranking for all four movies in the Spy Kids franchise. Um, so, I've recently reviewed all four Spy Kids movies. They were it's a franchise I've always wanted to talk about on this channel, and finally got around to it. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do a ranking of the four movies and everything since I've reviewed them all. So coming in at number four is... Spy Kids 4 All the Time in the World. Um, this movie is just really kind of lame and forgettable. It's not very good. Um, and everything really... Uh, I watched it a week ago and I hardly remember anything about it. The, the new characters are just kind of bland and everything. The stuff we get with the, the old characters isn't very memorable or great either and everything. Although it was cool getting to see them as adults. I'll say that. And it did have some fun moments with nostalgia but it just isn't a very good movie. And it's easily my least favorite out of the franchise. I, I wish Robert Rodriguez would have just left it alone and let Spy Kids just be a trilogy. And everything because this movie really has no good reason to exist or anything so it's easily number four and number three is Spy Kids 3 Game Over um, this one I have a lot of mixed feelings on there's a lot that I really like about it and like I said nostalgia plays into it but even as a kid this one was a big disappointment for me and everything this was like the first movie that truly disappointed me and everything it just wasn't as good as the first two and everything and I had really loved the second one so following the second one it was gonna be hard to be as good anyway for me but um, I, I still had sky-high expectations and stuff and that was one of my lessons in learning about keeping your expectations at a certain certain level so you won't be disappointed um, but th this movie is okay um, and everything. Sylvester Stallone is a lot of fun as the villain. You know, he, he's not the best actor in this movie. Like his acting isn't the best, but in the movie, but he, he tries, and you can tell he was having fun playing uh, the the main villain of the movie. Plus all these little side characters that are kind of in his head and stuff. It's really weird and everything. He's one of the weirdest characters in the franchise, but I love him, and it, and it has a lot of good fun moments and. A cool message about family and stuff and it, it's just a really fun movie so Spy Kids 3 game over well it's not the best in the franchise and everything it, it's still an okay time but it's number three and number two is Spy Kids um, I absolutely love this movie it is just a blast from start to finish and everything in it it's a really good introduction to these characters and it builds out the world really well and everything for being a movie that's under an hour and a half and everything they build out this this world of spies and stuff pretty well and they expand upon it more in the sequels um but it, it, this was a really fun first movie in the franchise and everything a lot of really fun moments and stuff i love how Carmen and Jenny don't get along throughout most of the movie. A lot of their banter and stuff is relatable to anybody who's had has siblings and had to grow up with siblings and deal with being the older sibling or the younger sibling. It's relatable for both and everything. I, I think as a kid, my brother related to Junie, the younger one, and I've related to Carmen, the older one, and everything. And they just did a really good job at writing that. And the way it was written, where it still can be enjoyed by adults and kids, is just really well done. And I think it, it has the best adult humor out of the whole franchise. The, the other two movies kind of relied a little bit on kitty humor at times and stuff. Some of the jokes didn't land as much in those two as they do this one. But that being said, this still isn't my favorite one in the franchise, even though there are some things I like about it more than the rest it still isn't my number one my number one in the franchise is spy kids to the island of lost dreams i just absolutely love this movie and when spy kids came out and i saw the first one i was like this is a pretty good movie never really thought about them making sequels to it or anything i was like you didn't really need a sequel so i didn't really 
care if they made one or not. And then it came out and everything. I saw trailers for it and I thought it looked like it'd be a fun time. I was like, I'll wait till it hits video and stuff. And then uh, I ended up seeing it like right before it left the theaters and everything. Uh, a family member ended up taking me to see it and I absolutely loved it. It's been my favorite movie in the Spy Kids franchise ever since. And I, I was just... Uh, a casual fan of the, the first one. I won't even say I was like a diehard fan of Spy Kids when I saw the first one, but this movie made me a Spy Kids fan, and uh, I'm really glad to say that this movie holds up really well, except for some of the CGI is, is pretty outdated and stuff, but the, you get that with any early 2000s stuff. The CGI always looks bad in early 2000s movies, and the, the Spy Kids movies are, are the way they're written and stuff, and gee, they're cheesy and campy and fun and stuff. So the CGI, bad CGI actually fits with this movie. So it, it works really well and everything. Just like the bad CGI in Spy Kids 3 actually worked for its storytelling and everything. But Robert Rodriguez did a really good job bringing a fun, fun low-budget family film like this to life and everything. And I don't think the Spy Kids franchise will ever hit the same a uh, level of greatness that it did with this movie, but man, this was a fun time. So, uh, yeah, so it's easily my favorite. So, let me know in the comments what you, how you would rank the uh, Spy Kids franchise, what your favorite ones are. If you want, you can even tell me who your favorite character is in these movies. My favorite is definitely Carmen. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think of this list and everything and your ranking. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day, everybody.